Hey students, welcome to this video. So today I have come up with a very interesting question. So let's take a look. Find the missing term and you can see these numbers in this table over here in these two rows. So you have to find this missing term over here and four options are given over here. You have to figure out the right option. Now before I tell you the answer, I start solving it. Please pause this video, take some time to solve it and try to figure out the right answer. Trust me, this is very interesting. But let me give you a hint before that. You need to observe the pattern between in these two rows. If you are able to observe the pattern, trust me, you will be able to get to the right answer. Now, let me tell you what the right answer is. So right answer is option C, which is 5. So let's see how we arrive at the solution. So if you carefully observe this pattern over here, here I've got 3, I've got 6. Seems like it is double of it, right? So the same pattern should follow for the other numbers also. Like here we have 8, but this is 56. This is not just double of it, not even the square of it, right? So obviously this is not the pattern here. And here we have got 10 and then it is 90. So every time if you see, if I do square of 3, right, which is 9, and I subtract this 3 from it, I get 6. If I do square of 8, which is 64, and I subtract this 8 from it, I get 56. Similarly, if I take square of this 10, which is 100, and I subtract 10 from it, I get 90. Similarly, square of 2, which is 4, and I subtract 2 from it, it gives me 2. So I can see that it is applicable on all of these. So this is what the pattern is over here. So let's say, similarly, for this one also, right? Let's say this one over here, let's assume the numbers. Let's say P denotes the numbers in the first row and Q denotes the numbers in the second row, right? So here I can say that P square minus P, this is what we are doing, right? And then we get Q, right? Similarly, for all of these, you can see, we saw that P square minus P equals to Q. This is valid over here. Similarly, for this one as well, here I'm getting what? I'm getting 20, right? So similarly, this should be what? It is going to be 5 square minus 5, that would give me 20, right? Because every time it has to be a number. Once I take the square of it and I subtract the same number from it, then I get this 20 over here. So that's what the trick over here is. So missing number over here is 5, we can say. Wow. Wasn't that an interesting question? Yes? All right. So please let me know in the comment section how you like this question and let us know what else you want from us. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.